welcome to my home. I'm sorry it's such a mess around here. I am hostessing a Halloween party and I just haven't had a chance to clean up. Scully, are you feeling okay? You look a little washed out. You know what, I think I can fix that. That didn't work. You know what, Scully? Are you feeling a little bit bad, a little left out? You don't have your costume on. Let's fix that. That is much better. You know what? We got a party to, to go to and to host. So let's head out. As much as I love cuddling with Scully, I've got work to do. You know what? First thing I got to do, I got to get rid of that bedroom of mine. Now what I want to do is just show you some of the things that I made for my Halloween party. And I'm going to start off with meatball mummies. And what I did there is I purchased Simix meatballs, which you can find in any of our meat departments. I took pizza dough and made little strips and I just wrapped around the meatballs. And then to make them really cute, I added a little dip of sour cream and a little piece of black olive for those little eyes. And then always make sure that you decorate with something. So what I did is I bought some uh, spiders to put on there and some little skulls just to add that festive touch. Now the next thing, which is just, I think, beautiful and really uh, does a wow on your table is the spider web taco dip. And there all I did was I took uh, refried beans, mixed them up, with some taco seasoning and some taco sauce. Mix that together, then I put it on a tray. Then you can make your own guacamole or you can buy um, already made guacamole in our produce department at Coburn's or Marketplace stores. And I spread it on top of the refried beans. And then I just added the sour cream and I made a, a spider web. And again, you've got to have those spiders put on there. And then I just sprinkled cheese on there, tomatoes, and a little bit of uh, green pepper, not only for taste, but for color. Now, one of the things that I want to tell you that I like to do is again, I like to get really festive if I'm going to have a party. Now, this is a little, um, container that most kids would take trick-or-treating. What I do is I use it to put the chips in and again add those little spiders to it just to make it really fun and festive. The next one I want to show you is Monster Munch and I'll tell you what yes it is addicting because I've been eating it since I made it. I just popped some popcorn, I put in some candy corn, Reese's Pieces, I threw in some pretzels and some peanuts and then I made a sauce that has peanut butter in it mixed with honey and some extra ghostly seasonings. Now we always make our same cheese sauce but I shook it up just a little bit. What I did here is I added white American cheese and then I put in some chili powder, I put in some garlic, salt, some cumin and then some chopped green chilies and I just mixed those together and heated them up and they are going to go great with the chips. Now at every party you just you have to have some sweets and some healthy items too. So what I did is I put together some cantaloupe and some blackberries and I just put them on skewers and they're called blueberry kebabs. The other easy item is the donut holes and all I did was call those spider eggs. And again, they're just donut holes with powdered sugar on them that you can get at any one of our Coburn's bakeries. And again, don't forget the spiders in there. Oh, I just have to tell you about one of my favorite items for every Halloween. Cupcakes. I'll tell you what, they're surrounded us in Coburn's. You check out the cupcakes in our bakery department. We have the coolest and the tastiest cupcakes. You just got to have them for every holiday. Okay, last but not least, you cannot have a Halloween party without some kind of punch. Now this punch, I used sparkling apple cider. I put some lemonade in there and I also added a bottle of club soda. Now you can serve it this way, tastes awesome this way, but you can also run down to any one of our Coburn's or Marketplace liquor stores and pick up your favorite spirit. Now remember, I like to add drama to this stuff. So what I did, not only put in slices of lemon and oranges, I added some eyeballs to it and I also added some bones in there. 
Now, the next thing I did to really set this whole table off is I put in some dry ice. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water to it. And I really wanna do this as they're arriving so that it gives it that eerie feeling. And I want everybody to see this. And that is the coolest look. I just love it. Now, I wanna check out and see where Scully is. I just gotta go. Now this is a party for two. Oh, Scully, you get me every time with those blue eyes. Have a safe and happy Halloween, and we'll see you in two weeks. Oh, Scully. Oh.